test. How about that? How about that opening uh, countdown? Thank you so much, Jay Textile Mills. Thank you so much for making that opening for us. Hello, investing friends, friends of financial freedom. Welcome into Investors Club. Got a great show for you. I'm all excited because our latest stock is kicking butt. Yes, again, we had the biotech boot camp. The next stock immediately exploded. I recommend another one. It's immediately exploding. Take the boot camp. We'll see extra reasons why. Also, biotech in general is exploding uh, because Merck bought out Prometheus for a 75% premium. We know these stocks, these biotechs, their values are just too low. And this, uh, these, that's another big buyout. The last, remember we had a big buyout of like a 200, not a 75, but like a 275% premium uh, like a month ago. So pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. Let's dive into it. Do, do, do. Uh, what? By the way. Yes, okay. Uh, how is this thing? Why are you not showing my screen? Yes, there we go. Got some new software installed <laughs> and it is not playing too well. Okay, great day in the markets for our stocks. For the for our stocks, it's a great day. We've got a sea of green. Uh, not going to tell you what the latest stock is, though. Uh, but the market itself, the S&P down 0.11%, NASDAQ down 0.19%. I didn't even notice that because everything's up so much. Rain, we were just talking about this, the Investors Club Discord, up 7% to 8 bucks again. This one is not reporting anything. That's good news because people aren't dying. Uh, we were saying try and tell the market that. I didn't realize it's up seven percent, but it's got this one was up. It had doubled. We got behind it in the sevens. It like doubled for us. Came all the way back, just like G, just like Galt did. Now it looks like it's heading back up again. There's SC Pharmaceuticals up to ten twenty, up more than uh, up almost seven percent. Uh, Cassava is up three point six two percent. Pretty good. It was up a little bit more earlier. Pretty good, pretty good. There's TGTX up to almost 21 bucks again, doing great. 2098 up more than 3%. There's Milestone, Fusion, Compass, Digital Brands uh, just reported and they went up. Good for them. Uh, let's get to the stories. We'll leave it on Cassava because we got Cassava stories. Actually, we'll start with, uh, we'll start quick with the Merck uh, dealio. So Merck strengthens immunology, immunology, immunology pipeline with acquisition of Prometheus Biosciences. This is interesting stuff. Uh, immunology huge. Oh, this is autoimmune diseases. So like Humira is huge business, and so they're doing. They've got a, a late stage candidate for ulcerative colitis, which is a huge problem, an autoimmune problem, and Crohn's disease. Uh, but this is like Humira. This is. But we we talk about these drugs where uh, it's. They they stop the immune system from attacking so much, just like uh, just like TGTX we just got behind. But then you can have problems with that depending how you do it. You can have more or less problems, and so you can have cancer, infections, things like that, deadly infections, and maybe cancer. Definitely deadly infections. Anyway, because you're you're blocking the immune system, so there's different ways to do it, but it's highly problematic. So this so this, they bought it for eleven billion dollars. So Humira is like is, is double digit billions in sales. I can't remember how much. Uh, <clears throat> so. PRA double PRA 023 is a novel late stage candidate for ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease and other autoimmune conditions. So they, they think they may be able to, to expand on these. There's uh, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. Uh, God, I'm blanking on the other ones, but there's 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 some other ones. There, there are big time big uh, big problems. Prometheus Biosciences comprehensive data set enables target discovery and precision medicine approach in inflammation and immunology. Inflammation is just a lot is, is the immune system doing its job. And when you get too much of it, that's that that can be a problem. Uh, so they, they bought it for $200 per share. They were just at let's find RxDX here. They were just at <laughs> 36. In December, they were at $35. And now they're at 200. They just got bought out for 200. So not too shabby. 6X since then. And uh, 
Oh, and this, I, I guess, oh, I guess they announced data. They must have announced data then and jumped up to 100, stayed around 100, and then, then got taken out. So they, were, they were, ended up, I guess, around 117 and got taken out all the way, the rest of 200. Okay, so they reported good data, got taken out. Let's see how long it took them to get take, taken out. December 6th, so it was about four, uh, about four months, four months and a week, April 14th. So about, about four, a little bit more than four months from reporting good data to a takeout, it looks like. Interesting stuff. Okay, let's get to the big story on Action News. Hat tip to Chuck in the Discord. Chuck Daly in the Discord brings us this is the appendix cassava's allegations of falsity and actual malice, intention to do harm as to the dot-com defense def defamatory statements. So there, this is huge. This is, if, for people that haven't been following the, the Twitter saga and all the, all the uh, non-stop, remember they flooded the channels. When they did the short attack, they, 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 they did like a, a, hu a huge amount of accusations, a very de in-depth technical nature that you would need like a degree to even understand what they were trying to say. And they did a lot of them all at one time and then flooded Twitter, stock twits, newspapers, everything with uh, propaganda about uh, just overwhelming the conversation with like just a hundred different accusations at once where people couldn't even make sense of it. And that was the idea, K kill the stock price with just a flood of information you can't even make sense of for weeks. And they did that. And so now they're going through, they have hundreds of pages here of accusations. <clears throat> 365 pages, one for every day of the year, one for every day of the week. <laughs> uh, and to quote Joyce in the Investors Club Discord, she said, I'd never looked through this Twitter stuff before. Disgusting. Well said. I, I don't, even, don't even know where to start. 365 pages of, of, of tweets of all kinds of stuff. Improper motive, lack of evidence, contradictory information, purposeful avoidance of the truth, inherently improbable, repetition and, and republication. Uh, so... I said to my... Oh, by, so, well, I, I'm in here. I, I, won't, I won't make this all about me, but by the way, I'm in here. So what do they say? They, will Joe Springer, a.k.a. Sava Steroid Uncle, incriminate himself by pumping a fake doc? I don't know who Sava Steroid Uncle is, but this is from, remember, there was the uh, Department of Justice document or supposed document. And I don't even remember what it said anymore, uh, but we looked at it. I don't even know what it said anymore, <laughs> but we looked at it and we said, is it fake? Is it not fake? And then they started saying that I, that I made that. Well, Cassava, they're, they're accusing me of impersonating the Department of Justice. They're accusing me of a felony, I think, right? Uh, and, but so Cassava's defending me. Improper motive, lack of evidence, contradictory information, purposeful avoidance of the truth, inherently improbable, repetition and republication. Thank you, Cassava Sciences. Uh, Remy is truly blessed. Blessed. Remy is truly blessed with the dumbest shareholders. Stay tuned for Sava sponsored Joe Springer pump and dump at noon. Well, the show's, show's now at eleven. We used to do it at noon. Uh, I was never sponsored by Sava, and it's not a pump and dump. The stock is great. We talk about great stocks because there are such things. Improper evidence, lack of evidence, improper motive, lack of evidence, contradictory information, purposeful avoidance of the truth, inherently improbable, repetition and republication. Thank you, Cassava. And then they go after Carl Harrop, friend of the show, Dr. Carl Harrop, who wrote the book about uh, the amyloid hypothesis, wasting everybody's time and lives for 20 years. Dr. Carl Harrop, in context, this is basically an endorsement of Sava. You should know better. We told you. Please explain how you fell for this obvious scam again, even after your pathetic appearance on the Joe Springer show. Improper motive, lack of evidence, contradictory information, purposeful avoidance of the truth, inherently improbable, repetition, republication. And then they say, if Sava reproduces semifilam binding, even just in the picomolar range, I promise to never mention them again. Cover my short, donate $1,000 to Anhalls, eat my hat live on Joe Springer's show, and withdraw all my outstanding Freedom of Information Act re requests. Improper motive, lack of evidence, contradictory information, common knowledge in the scientific community. And then Matt Nachtrab makes it indeed. And so Matt Nachtrab is in here once. Jacob Braun, I think, is in here once as well. We're famous guys. <laughs> Indeed, I encourage FDA, Sava, Noctrob, Springer, and the six trolls in a trench coat to do these experiments and more themselves. Nobody needs to take my word, but Sava will never do it because they are whatever. Improper motive, lack of evidence, contradictory information, common knowledge in the scientific community. And that's, so that's those. And so, 
There's a couple more things. So I'm in there five times. How about this Adrian Heilbutt? He's in there 297 times. So who's making all these tweets? Well, there's Adrian Heilbutt. So this is who's, who's doing 297 of these, apparently. Not content with fabricating scientific data, the Savables are now fabricating correspondence from the Department of Ju Justice for a pump. Improper evidence, improper motive, lack of evidence, contradictory information, common knowledge of the scientific community, purposeful avoidance of the truth, of the truth, inherently improbable, repetition of republication. So that's Heilbutt. But he's not doing his job. Adrian Heilbutt, you're not doing your job because look at the all-star ruining the curve for the rest of the class. Jesse Brodkin is in there 855 times in a 365-page document. You're in there more than twice a page, my friend. Good job. So they're calling him, uh, comparing Remy to Elizabeth Holmes. Brodkin was doing a bunch of my tweets. So good, good on you. And then there is this. I heard from Mr. Remy Barbier over the weekend, somewhat out of the blue. When I did the biotech boot camp, I, uh, I, I, sent, I, I sent him an invitation and I sent him the book and he got back to me and I asked him if I could uh, share this and he said yes. He says, Hi Joe, I've been meaning to say that I think your biotech boot camp document was outstanding. I told you, it's every, it really is everything you need to know and our stocks are kicking butt now, I'm telling you. In particular, you make the astute observation that Wall Street analysts rarely understand the makings of a blockbuster drug. So true. You should be Goldman Sachs biotech analyst, but we both know that won't happen for all the reasons outlined in your document. Good weekend and cheers to you. So how about Mr. Barbier sort of standing up for his company and saying, again, this is this in the Investors Club Discord, we said that we liked his tone there. He's basically saying... He, you know, like he said before, we think he, he said before, we think we have the goods. Well, he thinks that he's just sort of saying that we think we got the goods. So remember, they're blinded. They're blinded to both the CMS and uh, the phase threes. But uh, he, they think they got the goods. So we liked his we liked his feistiness. And he seemed to be uh, seemed to be fighting for his company there a little bit and, and his confidence, his swagger a little bit. So we thought that was good stuff. And I thought it was good stuff because he said, yes, you can go ahead and use my endorsement for the, uh, the boot camp. Oh, am I, am I, I am on the screen. Okay, good. Uh, put myself down here. There we go. All right. I guess that's it. Is that it for now. I guess that's it for now. All right. With that, my investing friends, let us cabbage and let us go to the phones. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Comments and reactions. Yes, it did feed in. I got new software here. It did feed in. Captain John says, new pick is on fire. It is on fire. I was so we also, people are getting in on these picks. So I'm really, really, really glad about that. So uh, I'm really glad you guys. Uh, thank you, Captain John. Cool countdown, says Len. I thought so too. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought it, it, was, it was cool and it was fun. I, I really liked it. Uh, Jay, thank you so much, my friend. So awesome. Happy New Year, says River. Chinese New Year, is that right? I guess that's the only other... Big New Year, I guess. Chinese New Year. Hans. Hans. Bobby. <laughs> it's good to see you. Kareem, it's been so long, my friend. Great to see you. Yo, Joe. Yo, Kareem. I was able to catch today's show. Glad to be here. I'm glad you're here, my friend. Great to see you. You picked a good day. Chris, terrible Merck deal. Should have made that purchase. Shouldn't have made that purchase. Phase two data. They like the platform, I guess. They, uh... I, I, they, I don't know if, <laughs> might not have read the rest of that article. Did I get all the, it will accelerate our growing presence in immunology, 
uh, where there remains substantial unmet need, important block as we strengthen the sustainable innovation engine that will drive our growth. So anyway, they see this perhaps more. Ulcerative colitis is huge, though. Those autoimmune disease, like Humira, look up Humira's peak sales. It's huge. And there's other autoimmune diseases, and, and they... Those, those Humira and those treatments, they're, uh, they're, I guess they really work, but then they work a little too well. They shut your immune system down a little too well, and it can be really problem. People die. So, thank you, Chris. So, I mean, they did pay an arm and a leg. That was, mister. Yes, it was. <laughs> you saw him. Can't wait to see Sava get bought out. Yeah. Quezzy, my friend. Oh, everybody came. Great to see you, my friend. Quezzy, so pleased to catch you live, my man. I am now pursuing my master's, so I've been very busy. We love you, Joe. Hey, Quezzy, I'm so happy for you. What does the rest of that say? Loked. Uh, please hit Loke. Thank you, my friend. Quezzy's getting his master's. I'm so happy for you, buddy. That's awesome. We'll call you, uh, and then go go for your doctor. We'll start calling you Dr. Dr. Bensi, Dr. Bensi and now. <laughs> we'll just call you doctor. Anyway, it's great. To, I'm, I'm really happy for you, my friend. Great to see you. Pale. Hello, Joe and everyone. Happy Monday. Netlist versus Samsung trial going on. Oh, that's right. And it is only uh, for only one half of the patents Netlist is suing Samsung for. The really important 912 patent is in the second trial. Good to know. Thank you for the update. Yeah, we talked about last week how the, the trial had started and it looked really good in Samsung's favor. By the way, Pale, you asked me to look at Arizona Metals. They had done, I, I looked into what they had done. They'd done, I, I forget what type of drilling it was. Uh, but they showed pictures of, of uh, the of the ore of the, of the they took like giant cylinder chunks out of the of their land and, and just to see what kind of deposits they have there. Anyway, it looked good, and I read about how what does that mean? And so it's it, it, all, all I can tell is that it's encouraging, but they needed to explore more and see what it's, what it really is. But it's it's encouraging, so to go, it's what they wanted to see, I guess. So it's good stuff. But it's still early for that type of thing, I guess. Bruce says, Joe, we need Jacob to do a write-up of Sava and Seeking Alpha. He should inclu include truthful seven catalysts. Well, I love volunteering people to, to write, uh, <laughs> write time-consuming articles. I completely agree that Jacob should write a lengthy, highly detailed, <laughs> uh, highly edited, time-consuming article. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, Bruce. And thank you, Jacob, for all your uh, work, including with Netlist. Thank you so much. Um, Jacob brought us Netlist. Ryan, I can't lie, their claims are hilarious but hurtful. But IFG in the end, we kick butt. But LFG in the end, let's effing go. In the end, we kick butt. Absolutely, that's right, my friend. Ryan, great to see you, my friend. Yeah, their claims, they're so childish. They always were. Very interesting and important info you're putting out today, Joe. Thumbs up. Thank you, Pale. I really appreciate it, my friend. So glad Saba is suing these criminals. I, I am too. They, they, gosh, they've gotten away with so much. I, I'm really glad. Chuck, great to see you. Your new stock is outstanding. Thank you, my friend. I hope you got in. I think you did. I'm really, really happy for you. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm so happy about it. I'm so glad. All I want is for everybody to make a lot of money. <laughs> thank you for being here, my friend, and thank you for the link. Pale, I think we are entering a deflationary period right now with a much longer inflationary time scale. I think gold will start going down soon, but crash will be a good long-term buying opportunity. It's really going to be fascinating. We seem to have a recession, maybe. I mean, people are talking depression. You know, it's very, it's really uncommon to have a regular, uh, a mild recession. Those are pretty uncommon. Uh, so, and with the banking crisis and the fact that rates are high going into this recession, everybody knows. Oh my gosh, uh, we need to see. This, this is the yield curve. It, this should look like a really good stock chart up and to the right. It should just go like a really good compounding stock. It should just go up and to the right. <laughs> because the, the further out you go and the longer you have to wait to get your money back, the, the more a little bit more return you get. So the longer out you go on the yield curve, out to a year, two years, five years, 10 years, you should get more and more return. This is completely screwed up and it's screaming recession. So the, the most money you can make is being in the four month now, not the 30 year, but the four month. So they're saying that in four months, they might, that, that's saying, one way of looking at that is that rates could be really low in four months because they want to lock in this 5% now because in four months, uh, uh, 
Yeah. The, 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 why, okay. So why why would these why would these be so low? Because they don't want to. You don't want to. They don't want to lock in because they think rates are going to go. Because uh, they do. Yeah. Because they think rates are going to go lower. Anyway, it's screaming recession. I got myself all turned around about the, about the explanation. I'll, think, I'll, I'll get it together. It's screaming recession, though. It should be up and to the left. The, the yield curve should be the further out you go, the more you get. So anyway, that's screaming recession. I, I've, I've, I've talked about that. What, how, why the yield curve inverting uh, means recession. Now I can't get it off the top of my head anymore. Uh, but yeah, and then the gold price just, just got about to a new all-time high. So that, that's very interesting also. Thanks for the new pick. It's soaring today. Yeah, Bill. Thank you, my friend. I, I, uh, you're very welcome. And Bill has dollar signs. I'm, I'm really glad, my friend. Yeah, that, it was to me, it was such an obvious one. And it's like, oh. And so was the lot. TGTX was such an obvious one as well. It seems like it, I don't know. Jay, use this and cut for 30-second video. You go viral. Okay, thank you, my friend. Johnny, hi Joe. So happy to be following you. And, and Johnny just joined the uh, the newsletter. I'm so glad you did. Another great pick. Pick up the uh, keep up the great work. Thank you, my friend. Great to see you, my friend. Jay, congratulations, Joe. Take this. Uh, you have jumped to the front of the line. Oh, take this. I guess you gave me a. I don't. I don't see a uh, super stick, but I think you uh, you gave me one then. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate it, Jay. Jay, you've been such a uh, you and everybody else. This is a different Jay. We have we have two. Uh, super uh, helpful. Jay's, Jay Mills did the uh, textile, did the uh, uh, did the, the awesome opening, and Jay just has all sorts. Jay's a marketing person. Jay Abrams is a marketing person, and he just has all kinds of helpful stuff. So thank you very much, my friend. I really appreciate it. SCPH's sales are increasing, says Brooks, and so should the share price be. I completely agree. It's up. What was it? Up over ten bucks last we saw. Yeah, I, I got an email this morning. Somebody looked at their Bloomberg, but I had to jump on the show before we figured out how new what what, what how new the data was. Uh, somebody else is posting screenshots on in stock twits, I guess, from Symphony. The largest shareholder of Prometheus is Cedar Sinai. Interesting, with over eight percent. Oh, interesting. So Cedar Sinai is a very respected hospital or hospital system, I guess, hospital network. Very respected. Uh, wow! So they have access to all the, the whole, the whole the, all those doctors and everything. Inter. I didn't know that they could own stock. That's really. I wonder. Wonder. Wonder what else they have. Thank you, JF. That's interesting. I wonder what else they have. Go viral and lead our savage. You got it, my friend. Okay. Thank you. Like I've been saying, what is happening right now, and I think it is a mix of the 2000 tech crash and 2008 housing bank crash, and will be worse than both. You're not alone. Uh, there's there's people saying that the, uh, with the banks not being able to loan is just going to be a huge, huge thing. And then rates are high, and, and then with inflation, it could be it could be a bad one. Jay, someone on Twitter tweeted, "Does anyone know <laughs> that was Jay? That was the other Jay. He, he does that. I love that. Thank you, my friends. JG, any updates on Netlist? They're back in court today. I guess we'll have to see." You are the secret <laughs> of your, thank you, my friend. Afzal, Sava rethink trial enrollment would be done by June for the base case, May, earlier July, worst case. They added one site to rethink. That's, that, to me, that just seems early. I, I, wanna, I, I, I wanna say that, I wanna say yes to that. And now it should, the one, the one is like 750 or maybe a little bit more, the other is 1,000, but then it got up to like over 1,100. So I think, I think the 750 might have gotten larger as well. We should keep that in mind too. They were guiding end of the year. I think we could get a little before the end of the year. This summer, I think, is just a little bit hopeful. And remember, they were also enrolling them equally. So uh, you would think, well, maybe they'll enroll the, the shorter ones sooner so they have that in the bag get the results sooner, and maybe they can finish up the other one as they apply or something, but they did not do that, so. Hey, Joe, hope Sava wins the suit. The shorts have put such a dark cloud over the stock. I'm still holding and think it will be a winner in the end. Me too. And I, this latest stock that we uh, just got behind, and TGTX, and SCPH, and TMDX are showing us that uh, they're waiting until the very end. Uh, the one we just got behind is done phase three. 
So it seems like you got to you got to be really close to the finish line to get I guess because it's a cash crunch situation and it's just hard to fund the companies, but they're they're really not rewarding anybody until you get right to the to, to the end. And so that that's that's good news because that explains why we're why it's so down and it just it just shows that the, the good day is coming so these other companies that are being very successful they didn't get any they didn't seem to they they took off when the sales started coming in. it was not priced in so two years ago with when cash was easy to come by i guess they, they were uh, then you could then they were given credit early but not now it seems but the day will come uh, office all Sava will not do interim analysis as said in PowerPoint because it leads to statistical penalty, meaning lower P value for statistical significance or increased sample sizes. Yeah. And we've talked about that. There's like a big discussion about that, about whether or not that's true. Some people say, yes, that is the case. Others disagree. So it's, I think it's, I guess my, I'm, my feeling on it is that it's not totally settled whether that's the case or not. I'm not sure. Pale, if any of you are interested in really wild true crime, I recommend Devil Town, 11 part podcast with Wes about the 92 disappearance of 17 year old K. Daly Wilson. Thank you, my friend. JC, good to see you. Happy Monday. Isn't there a trial or court decision for Sava? There was court dates for Netlist, and Cassava does have two. Yes, 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 the, the Texas case. Yes. What was that? Was it the 26th? There is a date coming up. Thank you. I can't remember now. I can't remember what it was. Best of Us Investor just sold all of his biotech stocks because of bank run problems. You know, I saw that headline. I didn't click on it, but he said to get out of biotech. Well, he picked a bad day for it. And I don't know. Drugs are the one thing that would seem to just, I mean, they see, they're all, you'd almost think of them as like a, a real asset you know, in that, you know, if inflation happens or, or if there's a crisis, a lot of printing and if there's inflation or, or whatever, you, you, your asset should just hold its value, whatever. You know, in the end, you have your house or in the end, you have your molecule. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the, he, he, I guess he said that, but it doesn't look like a smart move so far. Because of bank run problems, that just seems like a, like a funny reason to get out of biotech. I don't know. Off Zal, rethink could be 550 to 600, target 750. Oh, you're thinking it's smaller. I, okay, so if it, I, I don't see why they would, they would come in smaller, but if they do, then, then I could see it finishing early. Jay says GTII will come in. We've been on Prometheus this whole time. SC Pharma is up seven. Rain is up more than six percent. Digital Brands up five and a half. And there's Cassava up almost five percent. Good job, team, beating the XPI. Good job, team. And GTII up almost three percent. Global Best of Us has the worst timing on everything. It's got a lot of subscribers. We did a good job there. Smart investor sounds like a not so smart trader. Yeah. Carrie at Best of Us was pushing people into biotech at the highs a few years back. He flip flops like crazy and gets timing totally wrong. He, he, he does, his timing does not seem to be very good. He seems like he has good knowledge overall, but had maybe some bad luck on the timing. <laughs> Just a bad day trader. <laughs> uh, speaking of trading, I uh, opened up a new account in a new IRA in my E-Trade. I'm going to put a hundred thousand bucks in and do a big, a dividends club. I started, uh, I went with ghost or Substack. I went with ghost for this one. So I, I, I do, I'm, I don't have my, uh, new account approved and I'm all, I'm, and I'm, I'm going to, I've got like 12 or 13 total portfolios. I'm going to launch with just the, the ones I already had plus the real portfolio and add those in as I'm finalizing them. So, and I was going to start today with the dividends club. But, uh, that, that I want to start with that real portfolio. So anyway, I'll start this week with the dividends club. And I uh, also wanted to get that out there. First heard about story of oh, this is from the thing. Thank you, my friend. We can't, we can't, we gotta, gotta keep it to finance, my friend. All right. Good seeing you guys. I will do it again uh, tomorrow and I'll see you in the discord. Have a great night. See you in the discord. See you and sign up for the newsletter. See you in the discord.